All right, and we are back with Miss Lamming in the studio. Miss Lamming, good night. Hi, good night, guys. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? Am I allowed to swing on the chair? <laughs> you are allowed to do whatever you want except okay. cuss. That's right. it. I need to know the rules first. But yes, you can <laughs> swing on the chair, sweetie. Wait, let me go live. <laughs> I don't know how this thing works. All right, make sure. Come on, come on. Let's go live. Let's go live. I think I'm live. You yes. think you're live? Yes, you good? Yes, live. All right. Zuma, you good over there? Yeah. All right. What's good up, night, everybody? Good night. Let oh. me just say... I am not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be home on bed rest. I snuck away from my family. You all have me going live. They're going to catch me. And I'm going to get killed when I go home. I said I'm going to the corner store. <laughs> oh, I did get away from the interview. I was sorry, family. I had to kidnap her I feel for special. Like, you know, a few minutes. You know? I said I'm going to the corner store. I'll be right back. Listen, I've been supporting the thing long enough. So now I have this. I'm like, all right. Girl power. Let, let's right. just come on the girl power platform. Nisi have me here in my pajamas. Yes, because only for me would you do this. <laughs> I feel the love. I feel the love. And I'm so appreciative. Oh, Anytime. let me formally introduce Zimmer. Natalie. Well, nice to meet Natalie, you, Natalie. Natalie Zimmer. Nice to meet you. All right, all right. So pleasure we, to be here with we you. We have Zimmer. here Zimmer. Zimmer. Like Sim Zimmer. Sim Zimmer the <laughs> okay. with the keys to the Bimmer. All right. Cool and Zimmer. We have here a you shush see, virgin. You see, now my aunt is online. My aunt is a doctor and she told me do not leave hey. my house. Oh. We are better and she is live. I'm going to get both. Hi, <laughs> auntie. I'm sorry, oh, but, but if it means anything. Oh. Tanti, we sorry. Thank you. Tanti, we sorry. <laughs> She's got a Tanti. Oh, she's an auntie. auntie. Oh, okay. sorry, right. sorry. But yes, there is a difference. Oh, gosh. Please, 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 please. But yes, we have here a shush virgin. Yes. You've never been to shush? No. Ooh, ooh, Where have you been? Oh. You haven't been anywhere. Ooh. Wow. Okay, I'm kidding. Well, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ooh. I'm well, kidding. I'm kidding. Well, you're spice. I'm kidding. This I'm year, kidding. this year is definitely time to step it up. And I said we're going to be outside. So okay. shush going to see me this year. I hope yes, so. absolutely. Of course. Now, Unfortunately, I will be in Miami, so this Sunday I have to pop out. She need licks. You see what's going on here? Let's <sighs> see what. First of all, I didn't even think you were going to do it this year, honestly. Why? Because I didn't do anything last year. Well, yeah, and my mind was just... So let me, let me <sighs> just make it clear for the record, because mm -hmm. a lot of people um, felt like I should have done stuff last year, and then some people was like, Natalie, kudos for not doing anything last year. Mm -hmm. um, me not doing anything last year was a personal choice. For, this, for, um, for the main reason, um, I just felt um, because of the pandemic and what we were dealing with. And let me just put a disclaimer out. I am not knocking anyone who chose to do an event last year. You know, I have to say these things. But I chose not to because I felt like in my 43 years this is of being on this this is the first time i personally witnessed something like this yeah. and i just feel or felt um just as my role in my community i just did not feel 110 percent. and whenever i'm doing any, any event i have to yeah. feel uh, over 100 percent comfortable mm -hmm. putting mm -hmm. patrons um in any environment that could have repercussions later on you know mm -hmm. when i have an event you know, people think it's about making sure the event is good. I really just want to know nobody got in an accident. Everybody reached home safe. There's no fight. That's really my thinking. So yeah. I really wasn't comfortable doing anything um, last year for that reason. Also, because I run a business, it's mm -hmm. like setting a double standard. Because yeah. as you guys know, restaurants were under a lot of stress last year. Yeah. Still is a restaurant with mm -hmm. inspectors and, you know, just the restrictions we have. So it's like, how do I go do an illegal event because mm -hmm. whether we did have parties last year, but it was not legal, right? Yeah, exactly. How do I do a, an illegal event and then tell the, the departments that be that and I run a, a legal, illegal business? Illegal business. Yeah. Yeah. So it work, for yeah. me, it really wasn't um, making sense to me. And, you know, sometimes we just have to sit down, even though I don't know how to sit down. But um, sometimes you just have, I think last year was kind of like a year of reset mm -hmm. and um, a purge. Yeah. per se um you know but because things are opening back up now i personally feel i wouldn't do an event unless i felt comfortable so i feel comfortable and we still have to have some kind of restrictions in place so. definitely i like how you went down the road of being responsible 
And that's what a lot of people fail to understand. It's not about just running out there. The experience that you're giving people, it matters. You understand Absolutely. what I'm saying? And in 2021, if you're going outside, you need to make sure you end up in shush because she's making sure she's catering to your health. Best. You understand? We're making sure that we're healthy I'm and we're outside. Best. I mean, there's only so much we could do, right? No, nobody here is God. I mean, you step outside, you go to the supermarket, you start, it, it is what it is. I mean, I personally believe that the virus is going to run through everybody. That's just my personal <laughs> opinion. Oh, gosh. And let me just oh, put gosh. a disclaimer because I'm not a doctor. This is my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, I just feel like it's it's out there. I don't think it's going anywhere mm -hmm. anytime soon. And, you know, we have to find a way to, you know, coexist, unfortunately, with this virus along with the other ones that come in. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, we have to live. But we still have to, you know, be cautious live responsibly be responsible yeah. and sometimes i do see a lot of irresponsible <sighs> well you know i mean actions. team risk it team, all yeah. team i am not team risk yeah i know there's team risk at all i love them but team <laughs> risk at all team outside but um we have to be careful because at the end of the day it's not really just about us we have families that we go home mm -hmm. to we have kids you know and so on and so on and it's a trickle effect mm -hmm. so yeah just had to drop some sound effects for you real quick because I'm I'm actually proud of you for not giving in and having an quote unquote illegal party. It wasn't that hard. I because, mean, it wasn't that hard. I mean, trend. you know what we saw last year. We saw things and things happen, but everybody. Thank does you what for they being responsible. You know, here's the thing, like, and that, for protecting your brand. That's how thing. I see. It. I, I was protecting my brand yeah. as well, but here's the thing. At the end of the day, people do what they have to do. When mm -hmm. people make business decisions. Mm -hmm. I always say you always make the best business decision for you. Yeah. You know, and Tom, Dick and Harry may not necessarily like it, but we don't really go in business for Tom, Dick and Harry to like the business decision that we make because they're not keeping your lights on. So if you felt like you had to throw um, an, a party that was illegal at the time, mm -hmm. I'm not going to knock you because I, 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 I don't know what your light bill is. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I'm just saying that was, my choice what i would say is um kudos to people that i felt became extremely resourceful last yeah. year and step out of their element and did mm -hmm. things and that took a risk um, they they, yeah. they never did before just mm -hmm. because they had to make uh, an honest dollar yeah. i mean being in a restaurant environment i saw so many people in the yeah. in any circle in the in our community mm -hmm. picking up i'm thinking they're coming to pick up food it's because they're the Uber driver, the DoorDash driver, whatever. Right? And yeah. enough respect because I'm not going to lie. I was ready to sign up too, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm lazy. I'd be like, I'll drive. <laughs> Somebody come out the car. But I'm just saying, like, I I saw so many people be extra, extra, extra Definitely. resourceful and creative yeah. and step out of their box because they felt like, I want to be responsible. Mm -hmm. I got to take care of my family yeah. or whatever. So I feel like we, we need to shout those people out too. Absolutely. Because 2020 made us dig a little deeper Yes, you know had to go the, the yeah. frontline workers, the essential workers, the delivery Absolutely. drivers. That's a fact. Shout out and kudos to you guys because you got us through some things. The that Uber is. drivers, especially. Yeah, yeah. We, I, I know we've been to the frontline workers, but the Uber drivers. A lot of people get overlooked. They don't get enough love. They don't right? get enough love yeah. because a lot of them was out there in the midst of the pandemic. Me being one of them, you I know, was driving you know, Uber from time to time. I find. Oh, email man. Oh, that is true. Uh, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. I mean, I'm don't conflicted. get me wrong. Conflicted. Conflicted. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. No, but I, I need to put them in a separate category. But don't get me wrong because, you know, they bring in bills. They could keep them bills. But yeah. the, male, the male man and woman was just outside. They're taking a risk. They're I'll taking you guys a big risk. Much. They're like, taking a huge they risk. They are going house to house to house to house. Like, I, you know, I don't think that the, um, they don't get enough enough love nah. and i'll and i'll keep it of us that they're actually being exposed to the virus in the plants Absolutely. because like the plants go, are not adequate yeah, like you I have, have a, any family members i, I have a friend that that what i'm a that, former that, postal that deliver worker mail? i have a really good friend who delivers our mail and he lives with his mom okay and his mom has you know a couple of pre you know underlying and conditions yeah. and you know i always you're like how's mom because he's going out every day he goes outside it's an opportunity where he can bring it back yes. you know what i'm saying so yes, yes, yes. um like i said it's not really about us it's sometimes about who's around yeah. us mm -hmm. you know? absolutely so, yeah 
I can totally relate. Yes, I'm still with my family and um, my parents. They're both over a certain age. I won't say what, but they, um, they don't look it. <laughs> they're young. Oh Trust gosh, me. yes, they are. Grinning. But but we want to keep them like that. So every time I leave the house, even with my job, there's a risk that I can catch it and bring it home, and then my mom's a nurse, and I can give it to her. Even though they're right. vaccinated, that doesn't really stop them from getting the virus itself. Right. So and that's a whole nother that's question. A whole other conversation. Whole other conversation. Right. Are, so, well, are you vaccinated? I, listen, listen. I recall let me you put see, out the disclaimer again, something. please, because hey, you know, start the there's a line and. They like to say naturally state. So, mm-hmm. you know, let me just put it out. I am vaccinated. Um, that, again, that was my choice. Mm-hmm. I, I had the virus last year. I don't ever want to experience that again. Not yes. saying I can. God bless. But, um, yes, I had my, you know, should I, should I not? I went through that or whatever. But yeah. I had to make a decision and run with it. And that's what I chose. Mm-hmm. I am not knocking anybody who... Um, chose not to or mm-hmm. chose not to as yet i just think that we need to respect those each other those. Yeah. so if somebody did respect their choice and leave it as that mm-hmm. if somebody didn't i don't feel the need why i need to ask you why yeah agree to disagree yeah, yeah absolutely yeah so i think there's a lot of shaming on both ends and for me it's like healthcare, medical care it's all a personal choice at the end of the day no matter what it is so i don't even see why there's so much contention to begin with do Vaccine. what's best for you. Especially for the herbalists and natural. Do what is best so, for you. Vaccination Why? needs to go in a box with um, racism and politics. And religion. And religion and sexual choices. It needs yes. to go in that box and just lock it up right here. Yes, yeah. because the and, minute um, you say vaccine, yeah. it's like, uh, they're it ready to go, to go in a box. You know, <laughs> yes, so. yes, absolutely. Oh, see, we were talking about the postal coup. They're tuned in right now. Hi, guys. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> I am seeing people on my live. I'm going to be in trouble when I leave here. Anyway, <laughs> hey, don't worry well, about that now. We live in hey, any moment. Yes, and I'm curious. I have to know. How do we get from, what do I call you sometimes? Fat master extraordinaire. Let's say that. To a restauranteur. Like, how, how did that happen? Talk to me. Um, That's a trick. Big moves. How do I get from a, so, whoa. That's, that's, okay. So, I started working in the restaurant industry in the year 2000. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we are now to 2021. 2021. 2021. Um, When I first started working in the restaurant, first thing first, let's be clear. If you had asked me if I would ever be in the restaurant business, I would tell you absolutely not, no. Mm -hmm. If you ever asked me if I would be a waitress, I'd be like, hell no, Mm -hmm. right? I always said I wanted to get into that business, but why are you saying no? So... I, I think the culture that we come from, I, I, how I grew up in Trinidad, yeah. um, the way how society perceives certain jobs, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. is looked down upon. And, mm-hmm. you know, for example, I mean, I know you're not from Trinidad, but I went to what is considered a prestigious school. So mm-hmm. being a waitress is not on your agenda. Being a waitress oh, yeah, is more you. like mm-hmm. passing through, you know, yeah. a little mm-hmm. quick thing. Mm-hmm. Me personally, um, I didn't think I would ever even work in a restaurant because I don't even want to wash dishes or pick up a plate home. So you're talking about <laughs> serving people. Yeah. I think the, the, the word serving people has a, a negative um, connotation, stigma. stigma against yeah. it. So I never thought I would do that. Now, mm-hmm. when you speed forward and you decide to leave your parents home mm-hmm. for Lord knows why and come up to the great America <laughs> and decide to be on your own and do great things, right? Mm-hmm. You end up doing things that you never thought you would do. So. Right. I started, I started off as a hostess. Mm-hmm. I was a hostess for two weeks because a hostess was almost like covering it up. You know, you're the pretty girl at the front, right? Mm-hmm. But um, you ain't really making no money by the door, all mm-hmm. right? And then you see all the waitresses making their tip money. And I started waitressing. And my first job, they made me manager in three weeks. And I wow. think they made me manager in three weeks because of my work ethic. I always found a way to treat people's businesses as my own. You know, Mm -hmm. I never tell people to do that because it's not your own, but Mm -hmm. in order to be the best employee that you could be, that's the closest they could come to. So from that, I just, I never hop around to restaurants. I always tend to work at these five, six. My first job, I stayed there for five years. My second job at Sugar King, I stayed there for eight years, you know, and so forth. Everywhere I worked for a long time. Consistency. Until one day I decided I'm fed up with this. Like I need a job. I I want a real job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when I was about to do the resume for the real job, I realized that I had nothing to put on my resume but restaurants. 
Mm-hmm. Like, because uh, you know, time when when you are having fun and time you passes, realize, yeah. you don't realize. Oh, yeah. I'm 21 today. I'm 25. Then I'm 28, and there's like wait. And so when you yeah. when I look back to see, wait, wait, I'm trying to do this resume. I was getting a job at Caribbean at the time. Oh wow! I'm trying okay. to do this resume, and I'm like, wait, hold up. This ain't working out. This, this not working out. This you is all I know. I gotta yeah. make up stuff on the on the resume now. Now mm-hmm. they hired me because I guess they figured it was in the same line of business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But to me, I guess after a while, just being in the industry so long, it mm-hmm. just becomes part of me. This is who I am, and I've worked in every position. So I always tell like my employees, like I don't ask employees to do things that I would never do. Mm-hmm. So hey. I, 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 if, if somebody threw up on the floor, I'm cleaning it. Like, what's up? We're cleaning it. Mm-hmm. If the dishwasher not here, I'm washing dishes. If I'm a mop, I'm, I'm serving. That, yeah. That's me. I'm hands on. And she really is. I, 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 <laughs> she really I, is. I'm hands on, you know. But I think um, because I started in that way and I kind of grew. Mm-hmm. And I mean, you're talking about back then when I, I didn't even have any papers. Like, mm-hmm. I was just here working. And I think doing that hustle and I had like a great appreciation, you know, for the money that I made, you know, mm-hmm. and um, a great respect. So all that kind of tied hand in hand with me having respect for jobs or any job that I take. And that's something I try to exemplify with my employees mm-hmm. today, mm-hmm. whether they work here for two weeks or a year, you know, make it worth something. So I just mm-hmm. kind of um, ended up there. And then the party thing kind of came in between because I'm meeting people the As party thing she's yeah. so the she's party. so funny the party thing the party okay. thing came in between because again <laughs> if you ask me if i would be having a fet with three people three thousand people i would tell you what no i'm going to the fet you know but i think i always like to create i always like to um i, I just like I'm, I'm big on customer service and making people feel good and i think Beautiful. like over the years mm-hmm. I just kind of train myself to excel in that department and feel like, look, if somebody going to pay something for $10, make sure it's the best $10 they ever yeah, spend, fair. you know, mm-hmm. um, can't please everybody. Cause that's, you know, that's just life. Mm-hmm. But I do my best to, mm-hmm. you know, whether it have 10 people at the event or 50 people at the event, or, you know, I just always try my best to, um, you know, always put my best foot forward as you should with anything. So I don't know if that answer your question. You, you know, you've I like done to more than put your best foot forward. Um, First of all, for those who don't even know, Natalie used to have fets in um what was that? Soka Village, in Canarsie. I just used to have fets. To go from that Party to these yard. big yeah. monstrous mm-hmm. venues, yeah. like yeah. Natalie could ram out that venue by Coney Island. What was that? The art walls. In a minute, she can post today and tomorrow. It'll be around. Like I don't even. It's not that easy, okay? Okay. (laughs) No, no, it's not that easy for everybody. But you don't understand your own power. That's the problem. um, That's a line I use with everybody. You don't understand your power. I I do, but I I take it gracefully, humbly. Yeah, I do. I always tell people you have to understand your own power because if you don't understand your own power, you really don't know who you are and you don't know where you're going. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean. I guess that's the best I could say from having been in a restaurant environment and just meeting people mm-hmm. and um, just over the years, you know, sell 10 tickets here. Look, I tell people, if you're having a party mm-hmm. and you give 10 people 10 tickets, that's 100 people. If you give 20 people 10 tickets, that's 200 people. And that's how you're really supposed to build. If you're having a party and you can't get 100 people, you have no business having a party. Exactly. That's just at my least humble 100. opinion. That's very true. Okay? My yeah. humble opinion. Don't go and say not least that. This is just my... That's true. You know, I always tell people, because a lot of people come to me and say, like, listen, I want to have a party. I want to do this. I have this great idea. If I hear I have this great idea one more oh, time, I'm going to scream, right? <laughs> oh. But, you know, I, I always tell people, like, when they come to me, look, I, I am not the kind of person that tell people what they want to hear. Mm-hmm. If you if you want to hear what you want to hear, mm-hmm. I am not the right person to come to. Tell them what they to, need right? to hear. I'm gonna tell you my mm-hmm. you, you came to me. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming from my opinion, my truth. So I'm gonna tell you. Let's not fall out after it. It's just conversation. You ask me my opinion. So when people come to me and say I have an idea or I have an idea I want you to do with me or whatever, I usually tend to shy away from those things because not everybody is willing to hear. Your criticism. Say that again. Not even criticism, just just your opinion or just your views, right? Mm-hmm. But um I would start off by saying, look, this party thing, I would tell people, if you cannot have a birthday party, mm-hmm. 
and get a hundred solid people to come to your birthday party. You have no business selling, exactly. having a party. A regular party is true. I don't care if Marshall come in. Because I have seen people have Marshall at a fed and bus. Mm -hmm. Okay? So people think because if they put all, connect all the dots, but it's not always about connecting all the dots. You could have Marshall, you could have this, and I've seen people still bus or bus financially, mm -hmm. you know. Um, back in the days, you know, when you do a party, you could have put popular DJs. Yep. That don't work no more, in exactly. my opinion. It doesn't. Yeah. People trying to look at who. I want to know who's having the party. Exactly. Who's having the party? And it matters. It matters. Yes. It does. I don't care how the nice quality the quality yeah. is. And I say yeah. that all the time. Yeah. If I'm spending upwards of 50, 60, well, y'all know how I spend at a party. If I'm doing that, the, the promoter has to be a certain way. The, the wording on the flyer has to be correct. It has to be legible. It has to be English. I mean, these things matter. I mean, you probably for me, go yes. very detailed oh, well. right but it does matter because think about it and detailed, i always say this if somebody's flyer has a misspelling how you think their party's gonna be listen when my, if i put out a misspelling a blatant right, let me tell misspelling you. not in a little word you can so eh. i am part of this organization called bishop anstey high school right mm -hmm. if my flyer has a miss a typo they will come for you yes, this they come out of nowhere if you're like you have my number right it happened the other day it wasn't even any fly it was any write-up uh -huh. and but you know who usually catches it to be honest my mother it's yes. so sickening wow. oh but my see God. she has your best I, interest at i'd be Come like on. i'd be like you don't sleep like <laughs> you know, when i call you you tell me you up these hours but i could put out the fly on one o'clock in the morning two o'clock in the morning god forbid i make a typo on, on facebook status nope, she, she's dumb. messaging me um you put a comma there <laughs> Can I, can I can I at least talk in a dialect? Like, yeah, my mother catches it first. Always, mm -hmm. always hands down. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's kind of embarrassing to be like, you know, you're all hype about a post. Need to hire her for your PR yeah, work. Yeah, but she likes it so already. Do it all over yeah, again, but yeah. they likes it already. She's talking about you gotta take this down, but yeah. But well, you yeah. know what? Shout out to the edit feature. You don't have to take <laughs> things down anymore. Well, yeah, yeah. But even sometimes edit, you know. But anyway. <laughs> that's true, that's true, that's true. Very Big up mama on the inside, man. Yes, she on the outside, always. inside, where she did. Now, can we talk about Sunday's event? Can you say it? Because I feel like if I say it, I'm going to tie my own tongue. Please. So Sunday's Shh. event is called... No, that's Memorial. Sunday's event oh. is called Vini Marge. Mm -hmm. Vini Marge means let's eat. Yes. Right? And uh, so I know most of you guys know the pop-up dinner that they have having prospect park the all white mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i went to this event years ago and you, you know me if, if you really know me when i go to event i i i all i'd be like cha -ching, wait. no i could do this no cha -ching. Mm -hmm. or, you know exactly i, I, I never creators really do that I, I just can't help myself so yeah. i went to this event all white prospect park um promoters provide the tables and chairs mm -hmm. you bring your decorations you bring your food you bring your drinks mm -hmm. um they provide music eight thousand people in the event Mm -hmm. 8,000 people walking in calmly, peacefully, no havoc, no nothing. No drama, yeah. I had an amazing time. It was, I felt so free spirited. I thought it was like super, 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 super. I, I thought it was like a super amazing, amazing event. I think um, the best way to share love and good vibes is through food, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And I thought that what they were doing was amazing. And I'm like, my, the only one thing that I wanted to change about it, because, you know, I always want to blacken it up so to say we you need know? we um, need that we need the melanin in the, in the mix i don't know yeah i don't know if that's the correct mix. word to all use. the seasoning in there yeah man. because you know i get in trouble for the wrong words but like uh -huh. he said i thought it was an amazing event but i just felt like i would love to do an event we like this that had us. a little seasoning mm -hmm. right us. because yes most of the times we get along is when we eat it mm -hmm. <laughs> and drink and drink and wine, wine, right we mm -hmm. eat it but it's not really about the drinking part of it. You understand? Yeah. Um, it's a cultural thing for me where back in the days, like with your grandparents and stuff like that. And, you know, when this person could cook this and that person could cook that or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to kind of recreate the event, but we re recreated in a way because one of the things I hated about the event mm -hmm. was lugging food mm -hmm. because by lugging the food, I can't, I couldn't keep the food at the right temperature and yeah. stuff like that. So I didn't mind lugging the decorations to decorate my table and be creative, but I had a problem pulling food in a cooler in yeah. my nice white dress. Yeah. So the way that Vini Marge is um, created is 
I'm going to provide the food for you. Mm -hmm. And one of the other reasons why I wanted to do this is because I feel like the food industry took such a hit in the in the pandemic with the pandemic and mm -hmm. not just the brick and mortar businesses like the, yes, yes. the you know the local yes our local vendors right mm -hmm. yeah. and i feel like we need to showcase some of our um black uh, businesses mm -hmm. in our community mm -hmm. the caterers and the people who home are making homemade ice cream yes. and the people who home making beef pies and stuff yes, like that yes. because sometimes i'm not gonna lie their food better than any restaurants absolutely yeah. Yeah. absolutely so, um, I wanted to kind of find a way to help market. I feel like I have a platform, you know, mm -hmm. um, help market some of these businesses. So, you know, a lot of them, yes, they're cooking from home and they're trying to hustle, but a lot of them used to sell in fats mm -hmm. and they couldn't sell in fats the way mm -hmm. that they could have sold, um, you know, last, last year. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to not only that, I kind of wanted to showcase them in a fancy way. Yes. Mm. A fancy way of seeing bird. A fancy we deserve way of seeing a fancy Raquel, platform. A yeah. fancy Absolutely. Platform, Who says you know? Caribbean food can't be fancy? Be, you know, so basically I am providing the food with all the different vendors mm -hmm. and um um it's not just food, it's people who make homemade ice cream, it's the person who makes um oh, yeah, fruit you got cake, the black goods. cake, puncha creme, mm -hmm. um beef pie, somebody who makes fresh pilori and uh, one ton, somebody who makes doubles. Oh, um you know I, I invited a couple other people. I invited the Yankee boy to showcase his pepper sauce because mm. I think that we need to give kudos to people. You know, we always, we only know to, to talk stripping but yeah. sometimes exactly. for me, at least for me, I can speak for me, when I see somebody doing something and I see them, meaning that I see them from far, mm -hmm. you got to uplift them because sometimes, you know, like I, I called him the other day and I spoke to him today. I'm like, listen, I don't know, maybe it might be two, 300 people, but here what? Showcase 200 people you know your pepper sauce in the best way because at the end of the day i'm not gonna knock a man's hustle when i see that he's trying, trying. to do something mm -hmm. and yeah. step out of his element regardless of what people say or think so i invited a couple other people to kind of showcase i have rum circles um mm -hmm. you know i have, I have, I have there are a bunch of different vendors and then i went to a couple other restaurants um like um brooklyn prime and sweet 704 and here's the thing i would love to go to a lot more vendors mm -hmm. i the thing about it is that i just wanted to start this year i yeah. want this event to get to eight thousand people where mm -hmm. i can show eight thousand people my caribbean vendors what what caribbean food is really 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 about yeah. yes right mm -hmm. so it may not start as big this year but i guarantee at some point in time um it will be big and mm -hmm. um some people kind of shied away from it because i didn't present it as a fet Right. right but i'm a full believer it is a fet it's a food fet right mm -hmm. i'm not gonna present it how you want it you understand is that yeah, it? Is that how it is. It. Yeah. and i'm gonna it's up to you to take the chance and put trust and come and i guarantee you whoever comes on sunday is mm -hmm. going to not regret the ticket is 90 dollars. you have all access to any food you could go to any tent mm -hmm. you we have cocktails and stuff and i guarantee there's nobody who's gonna come there on sunday and i'm sure they'll be taking food home Definitely. I'm sure so that we're doing this on Sunday. I'm there. From time she said fancy food, I was there. Yes, exactly. No, I'm yeah. a foodie, so. I think it's time we have more events like this, honestly. Yes. I mean, and there's but so many fets we could go to and but so many fets we could have. Like, haven't we done most Not things? Not only that, I think we, we're getting older. We are. Uh, yeah, and older. But um, people want to do different things with their money. If mm -hmm. you don't have more appreciation for your dollar, like I could go fets every day, all exactly. day long, right? We can do that. We can mm -hmm. zest all day long. Mm -hmm. But I think as you get older and your mind becomes a little bit more mature in a different mindset, yes, we just want to experience things. different things. It doesn't yes. mean we can't fet. Of course, absolutely. We can fet. Mm -hmm. We are Caribbean people. We will always fet. Three of us can make a fet right here, mm -hmm. right? But... And I guarantee Sunday probably will turn into a fet, but that's not what it's based on. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We're more than that. Yeah, we we're have, way we, more than and that. And I think we need to, the Caribbean community needs to start showing the powers that be. Yes. That we are more than just a fet-minded yes. people. Yes. Because, because they have us down like just a fet-minded people, that's why they keep us in this box. In the box. And in to the me, box. they don't take mm -hmm. us as seriously. They won't. 
it, they won't take us seriously because, because the minute you even say Caribbean, they start with the Yemen and the, all these stereotypes, Listen, and I, it's like I ugh. go to. Not only that, we just get the most fight down when it comes to doing any kind anything. of event. But just because of that, like, yes. I, I go to Look how they did meetings our and meetings, all kind of different. I mean, I am <clears throat> meeting queen. You know? Oh yeah, tell please and tell I've, him. I've gone to many meetings. The thing about it is like it's sometimes so difficult for me because it's like I am for the Caribbean, right? Mm-hmm. I love my country. I I probably love my country more than my country love me. But I am very for the Caribbean. I'm that kind of Caribbean is one house. The different islands is different rooms. That's my vibe. Yes. But sometimes we are our own worst enemy. Mm, and absolutely. sometimes it's difficult for people like myself and like-minded people to kind of stand for the culture a certain way, right? Because of the the little negative. This it, it's it's a real fight. You know what I'm saying? Because there's some of us trying to do things the right way. Mm-hmm. And there's some who just continuously keep doing the things wrong, the wrong thing. way. Mm-hmm. And and when you do something good, it takes you two steps forward. When you mm-hmm. do something back, it takes you ten steps backward. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you know, um, if we don't take a look at what's going on, and it's like a conversation we keep having over and over and over again. I mean, how long are we gonna sit on and complain? Mm-hmm. But know? think about it this way. I mean, how could you really? I won't even say get mad at it, but understand that no one's really free, especially in the West Indies. Right. And especially, I don't know if they've made you guys, like when you were in school, read your own constitutions. Mm -hmm. Have they ever? (laughs) No, answer, tell me. That's a Front to back. Right. Probably Have they? Not. Probably not. Now, all right, so do you know that Trinidad is not really free? I don't really think and anybody, Jamaica I just don't and Grenada any, I, I, and I, 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 I don't think anybody really free, can, but no, that's no, all no, 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 to the point where these course. it lists what the Queen still owns in all these respective I, countries I, I understand and understand where it's, you're coming from to go to know that that still existed and now you have the education because there's no real post-secondary options mm-hmm. we either send them more to UWE or Grenada uh, Medical School that's hard to get into anyway or what they have to come here or see the hospitality, or see the restaurant. There's nothing wrong with that, but everybody can't do that. Everybody Here, cannot do it, and then they shy away from it if they don't know how to access free money because there's free money too. Right, yes. yes, but here's the thing: like, look, when I I'm 43 years old, when I was going to school, in my opinion, the way how we are taught certain things, how what society says is mm-hmm. like this is the right way to do things. You know, go to school, and this is the wrong way. pass your common entrance get all ones in CXC, get all A's, and that is going to make you a successful person, exactly. right? Um, that's what I was taught. That's what I was. That's what I knew. I, I come from a family that I probably was the Skylocker mm-hmm. and made it to the end, but Skylock mm-hmm. all the way through. Mm-hmm. We, live in, we definitely live in a different time, and I know that, you know, our parents have said, you know, it's not like a long time, and it's a generational change, right? Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. If I had to go back, right, and I said, if I have to do this with my own son, if I had to go back, I would take every home ec class, TD class, technical drawing, plumbing, mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. me, Certification personally, is key. I would do. Because having a trade, yep. craft, yep. it's so important, important, important to me, to yeah. me. I, I won't even lie. As you sit out there, I, I had a little thought to myself today. And recently, I just had a flood at the house. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I couldn't fix it myself. And the one thing Mm -hmm. that I was thinking, I said, you know what I value the most is if I would have paid more attention as a youth to my father. father, Because he's very handy. But I'm good as a DJ. So I I took the music. But he took the handyman and he had that skill. And I always say to myself, you that wish is the you, one thing I would know. Who has that skill? I do, actually. The way it was done, and for me, going to school, the way it was done back home, it was like, if you don't have enough book sense, then do that skill. That's yeah. how it was brought upon the kids. It was almost right? looked That's down on. It was looked down. Too. So and it, in my house, too. So I get same it. Here, yeah. Same so it's here. like, if you don't have enough book sense, yeah, then you need to learn how to sew. Then you need to learn how and to... And again, everybody cannot be a doctor, lawyer, nurse. Listen, this, I would say everybody this, can't uh, sing the song. Some people have to write it. Yeah. Some people have to make the music. In fact, but we are now in a different time. And I yes. think that, um, again, if I had, if I could go back, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But we can't go back. And who we are is where we come from, right? Yes. It's only what we can do moving forward, mm-hmm. right? 
but we have to totally totally change our mindset on mm-hmm. how we do things yes. mm-hmm. how we view things yes. you know how we relate to things how we handle things you know and mm-hmm. that's one of our issues in the caribbean community because you know as much as i love my community i want so much from my community and Same. you know a lot of people always keep saying why why are you stuck with this caribbean food why you only want to do caribbean food you know it's they not have about so many stuck. things it's who you are there's mm-hmm. so many yeah. other restaurants you know yeah. caribbean people is fighting on i mean i've heard it all right but here's the thing here's the thing like i tell you i like my i love my country more than me mm-hmm. but i am so fed up of people the people looking at caribbean as lower than low and yes. Yes. i just feel like let me do my part to try you know to showcase us in the best way possible mm-hmm. because they always expect the worst from from us now if you come by me i don't have to have a trinidad flag waving right yeah. yes. but best believe you will know when you come and when you leave it's caribbean mm-hmm. We're scared, mm-hmm. We're mm-hmm. deeper trinidadian but I'm just so tired, like when I go to meetings and it's like, you know, when you hear, oh, well, it's a Caribbean thing and you, you see the eyebrow and whatever, exactly. whatever. And I, I get saved a lot because of what I do and what I represent, but it's mm-hmm. not just about me, you know? So I would always try my best to represent the Caribbean to the best of our ability yes. because, mm-hmm. you know, we have so much to offer and we have so much great things and yes, great people and do. creative people in the Caribbean and, you know, people don't even really know. We don't even yes. get the opportunity yes. because mm-hmm. of the little negative that takes us, that keeps us, keeps us back. So mm-hmm. for me, some people think that by me always wanting to represent the Caribbean is like I'm keeping myself in a box. And you're not. Right. But from... here's the thing. I could open a restaurant in Williamsburg tomorrow. And I could hit. open a restaurant in Sarasota tomorrow. In Georgia. I could go Kentucky. In Florida. And, and it hit. will yes. sell so, Hallelujah. Because yes. they want that's Caribbean it. in that, a bottle. That's how they it do. is. Yes. I, I'm like, okay, you didn't know what it is? Well, we're going to learn today. Exactly. So yes, yes, yes. that's just me. So, you know, I do understand people views from a business marketing, you know, like sometimes you have to step out your box. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. Some people ask me what I prefer about flat Utica and Flatbush. You know, mm-hmm. where I am on Utica is a little bit more diverse. Yes. You know, because yes. when I was on Flatbush, it was thoroughly run Haitians, you mm-hmm. know? And... Um, I experienced situations where Haitian people are not willing to try just walk into a Trinidadian restaurant, yeah, you know, so I didn't get to, to the, feel the love, love from yes. the community, but yeah. where I am now, it's a lot more, um, diverse yes. and I love when, and I'm not just speaking white, you know, I'm talking white, Chinese, Asian, Indian, you mm-hmm. know, whatever. Right. Yeah. And you know, I could share this mm-hmm. and I'll tell you something and it's sad, but I'll tell you something. I get more appreciation. From outside. From outside. Always. Right? Always. Because I get more appreciation. Not to cut you, but as you sit in here and you was telling your story, it's almost like I was thinking to myself, hey, the same thing. People outside of your community does always support you quicker than the people in your community. Of course, strangers always support you first. The one thing I love about what you're doing is, is that you're in, it's not in a box. You're in a exclusive lane by mm-hmm. yourself because you are what you call a pioneer. Right. And mm-hmm. by you stepping outside of the box, it is is a broader movement still yeah. going on. Although the, we have been considered the law of the law, but that's where your movement right. comes in, and that's where the, the movement I, comes I, in as I, a whole. Listen, when when your own come, this is how it goes. My grannies make a better macaroni pie. My mothers make a better <laughs> callaloo. Exactly. My ta- my aunties make a better rice and peas. Right. Yes. When you share your culture with other people who don't have a tanti that makes scalaloo, everything tastes and everything tastes best. best. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So it's like I like to see that enthusiasm from people who <laughs> yeah. I mean they come in there like Nani, listen, you have pig ears. We got we got <laughs> where we carry into the yeah. and they just down with the cause, you know. Uh-huh. Whereas, you know, um, when it's your old culture, they'd be like, you put what on what? You put oxtail in where? Yeah. You know, you know, but then you have the, listen, shout out to the genuine supporters because the genuine supporters just be like, mm-hmm. we put an oxtail in this? Okay, we're going with this. What are we mm-hmm. eating? What are we eating next? Right. They're always willing to try, right? They're always willing, your genuine supporters, they eating anything. Not eating tastes too good today and we'll come back tomorrow. That's the genuine supporters, right? right. I mean, in life, everybody ain't going to clap. And that's just a fact. But mm-hmm. we wouldn't be where we are if people won't boo. 
We what, need bouet. <laughs> what could true. we find at the restaurant? Um, so I serve Trinidadian cuisine. And what's the right? name, by the way? It's called Savannah. All right. It's at 75 Utica Avenue. Um, we serve Trinidadian food, but I fuse it a little bit. So I have stuff like oxtail pizza, we which have, is amazing. We oh have my shark God. tacos. Oct- Wait, hold on, oxtail pizza. Oxtail pizza. Amazing. Uh, we have shark tacos. We have um, we have an amazing, which I actually hated quinoa, but we have an amazing quinoa bowl mm. for people who eat healthy with dry cranberries, and you know we use a lot of um, authentic juices. So. If you come by me, I don't have orange juice. I don't have cranberry juice. You can't get that by me, right? Mm-hmm. We use tamarind, um, guava, passion fruit, sorrel, morbi. These are the things we use. You cannot come by me and get a glass of orange juice or cranberry juice. Yeah. None of that? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't buy box. Um, yeah, nope, yeah. straight natural. Everything is, yep. is exotic juices. But um, like I said, you know, I, I want to shout out the genuine supporters because they rock with me right through regardless of what and you know what we open during today is actually a year wow congratulations. Congratulations. today is a year 10th of may is a year we open in that location right okay. and oh. opening in the pandemic was like super hot i was supposed to be here for 15 minutes they must think i went to a fucking time <laughs> <laughs> not at all it actually energy. answered a lot energy. of questions that i had but, but um, um today is a year and congratulations shout out amazing. to the staff shout out to everybody shout out to grace shout out to david shout out to jay sarah tassie nigel Sherman, wadi the whole crew mm-hmm. yes, and yes, yes we yes, made yes. the bartender man listen right now what what is that drink oh gosh which one it's the sorrow one the, the... a hibiscus which one i don't not hibiscus the next one i don't know there's so many <sighs> A horn of man. It's, it's kind of like a margarita, I want to say. So the good thing about Savannah, you know, when you come, we have a play on all the words. You could get a horn of man, a Mr. Fett. It a was Mrs. a horn of man, I think. It was. Let me tell you how. You I can see after you finish this drink, you just. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Guys, you have to experience this restaurant for yourself. But really, really quick, Miss Lamming. Well, not yeah. too quick, but please tell us about Shush. I can't even remember how long I've been going to this so, fight now. I think <laughs> Shush is in its 13th year. I kind of wow. lose track. Um, we didn't do it last year. It's supposed to be like for me that's the official start of summer. Like Memorial Weekend is the start of summer. Yes. Um this this year we're doing two events. We're doing this Memorial Saturday mm-hmm. and we're doing the Monday. Really because we can't do the four thousand people yeah. on Monday. Mm-hmm. Um yes, they're allowing us to do certain things, but I am not doing four thousand people on Monday. Okay. okay. So I hope that don't, I hope that don't, you know, you can say that, but she knows people. I am trying not to go there. You right? know, your shush crowd but is a different crowd anyway, by itself. Um, the Saturday we're doing something called picnic fest. Mm-hmm. It's something like Sunday. You bring your pack your basket and come mm-hmm. again, trying to do something different and fun. And then the Monday is the shush shush where we have all the artists. Um, this year theme is Caribbean Woodstock. Yes, I saw. Yes, you could, yes. You could take a play on it as much as you want. Zimmer, you got to um, um I outside. Yes, <laughs> yes. summer. I mean, I might have to change my flight. Good grief. Yeah, you're I bugging. I don't know where you're going. She, I don't know what she you doing. Because everybody's there. Nappy is me, there. Me and the squad going. Nappy is you. there. Lyrical oh, is there. Boy. Well, I mean, I could always send mommy in my place. We zessing in that. You know my mother's like... Yeah, your mother come in without you. It's fine. Exactly. You, you can go where you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, but see. yeah, we have more artists to announce. Um, I have to kind of take my time because, you know, the artists themselves having little issues getting out of, you know, the country. Mm-hmm. So that's a whole next conversation. But right now we have Lyrical, Nappy, and Iowa. And I think that's an amazing lineup yes. right there alone. It, you know? absolutely so we have some more other artists to drop but the idea i mean you guys know what woodstock is so yes. it's almost something similar to coachella mm-hmm. with a bunch of artists so you never really know who might run on the stage <sighs> so it's that theme mm-hmm. get your tie-dye get your afro puffs get your peace sign whatever whatever and you know that's that's what we're doing all right okay well guys Shush, memorial weekend and Say it again, this Sunday. I don't want to say it wrong. Vini Mange this Magie. Sunday. Vini now, Magie. Vini Mange. Let's talk tickets. Where can we find tickets? Um, I'm only selling tickets at Savannah and Tilly's. Tilly's is my sister restaurant in Bed-Stuy. Okay. 
I don't put tickets every everywhere. We gotta control. Yes, guys, you hear on. that? Nothing online. Go to either Savannah. They have online. They have online. Where? On, Eventbrite. Yeah, Eventbrite. Okay. Yeah. So Eventbrite. Eventbrite, Savannah, or Tilly's. If it's not one of those three, it's not legitimate. All Make right? sure y'all link up, man. Them tickets go in fast, fast, fast. Yes, and we will discuss the giveaways after this. I have to let Miss Lemon go, and Miss Lemon, it was such a pleasure. Hi. Okay. I'm first of all, I'm calling you Miss Lemon like I haven't known yes, her for my, however my long, but I guess I'm name, just having my name. I guess this right. is what no, this no, is no. what we're calling manners. I'm I'm having manners tonight. Thank you, mommy. Um <laughs> all right, I'm Natalie. Thank you for having me. Um I have to go back home before I get licks because I said I was going to the store. <laughs> and it's past I don't know what time. Time so. flies when you're having fun. I guess so. Absolutely. I'm gonna give him your own number. Yes. To call. Okay. All right. right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you coming. All right. Okay. Zima, bring us back into the music. Okay.